Sushi is now commonly acknowledged as one of the traditional Japanese cuisines, and of course, it has established its status through the long history of Japan. However, the oldest record mentioning something like sushi first appears in a written document from Nara era. It is inferred to be invented in Southeast Asia and introduced to Japan from Chinese continent through Korean Peninsula. People, especially in remote areas from seashore in the early times, have invented some preservation technology to keep seafood edible. Fermenting fish by mixing with cereal for about a year is now considered as the first form of sushi, which dates back to a thousand years ago. This was a time when only the aristocrats and high priests could smack their lips, and it was a luxury item. Since this process took a long period of time, and the cereal got fully broken down by the time when fish tastes matured, impatient people started eating half-fermented fish while cereal still stays in an edible form, which is closer to the current style of sushi. In some part of Western Japan, they pickled fish and rice in a wooden container in order to quicken its fermentation process. It is known as the origin of Oshizushi or Hakozushi. Along with the invention of vinegar in Azuchi Momoyama through Edo era, this acid fermentation process was taking its place. This is a time when people started enjoying vinegared fish on top of rice, and it has established its status as a fast food when the street vendors catering to the lower classes open their business on food cart. Since the refrigeration technology has not built up yet, they pickled fish in salt or marinated in soy sauce to enhance the preservation quality. Sushi Chef has also brushed up their skill to create nigiri sushi in the twinkling of an eye, and people imagined as if they were like magicians, and enjoyed watching their performance, not only the taste of sushi. During and after World Wars, due to the shortage and strict control of food under the government, sushi cart was not allowed to do their business until they started exchanging one cup of rice with 10 pieces of sushi with the processing license in 1947. Through the period of high economic growth of post-war, for the reason of public health, Sushi has been categorized in high-quality menu that can only be served in bar-style restaurants. It was just around this time that conveyor belt-style sushi restaurants came into sudden prominence. Along with the refrigeration system, its low-cost fast food business rapidly expanded in the 1970s and 80s, which brought back their traditional Japanese taste to the most majority of people. Not only its long history of sushi in Japan, but also the ceaseless efforts of Japanese immigrants worldwide introducing their culture, as well as being accelerated by people's curiosity toward this unique and exotic cuisine, now sushi culture has been exported all around the world and developing their quality and variety in association with diversified people's needs and culture. So what's next? <laughs>